And now to some good news. Hundreds of children at Domase in the Setre Kumeu district of the Ashanti region will occupy a modern three-unit classroom block when school reopens. A story filed by Bright Nanam for two years ago has changed the narrative. This was the state of the Domasi DA Primary School in the Setre Kumewu district when the mission team first visited. Academic work was determined by the weather. A rainy day meant classes had to be called off due to the dilapidated classroom block. Sustainable Development Goal 4A targets the building of school facilities that will provide a conducive learning environment for children. This block, nonetheless, was an obvious threat to attaining the goal. The narrative has changed with the construction of a three-unit classroom block with an office. The head teacher was full of praise for TV3 and the mission team. I will say that we thank you. We thank you because through you, that we have come to this far. Otherwise, we don't know how we are. So what I would say is that kudos to you. The facility also boasts of a playground. It was all joy as the district chief executive of Setre Kumewu joined community leaders to commission the new school built by the Wagner and Stanworth families. TV3 normally do such an enterprise. Fortunately for us, they came here through Ministry of Education and they highlighted the challenges. So it is out of it that uh, Empowering Incorporating Incorporated came here and they said they've sought for some funding to come and embark on this very project. Truly, we also gave them the backing. And here we are, this very beautiful edifice for our children. A motorcycle was also donated by the assembly to help in the running of the school. It's always a delight when reports by TV3 get such, uh, you know, feedback. And I'm particularly happy for the children. But that's all for Mission. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks for joining us.